so it is actually Wednesday and I didn't vlog anything other than my tomato sandwich <laughs> what you guys saw? Yeah. Two later mm -hmm. so who Alyssa will do you think she had fun? Yeah. So, um, Alyssa came over. She swam in the pool. That's what she's talking about. But I just made spaghetti for dinner because it was just me and the girls because my husband is still doing floors at work, so he's <laughs> working late. So all the dinner plans that I have made for this week, are, you know, it's kind of like I don't want to make... I have a few dinners that I want to make and invite Papa and Uncle Brian and so I can still invite Papa and Uncle Brian even though my husband isn't here but it's still a little bit you know like it's not the same without him you know what I mean do you know what I'm saying so I don't want to do it without him because it's not the same um, but I have no problem with like inviting Papa and Uncle Brian and just eating with them <laughs> was that the cat what was that anyway so and I haven't you know there's no reason for me to cook if it's just uh, me and the girls because no matter like if I make a big dinner or whatever like they don't they don't eat hamburgers and that's one of my meals mm. what are you doing silly goose <laughs> um, and then I had um, a zucchini um, chicken dish and then another dish I saw on Moss Family TV which is like the Mexican street corn chicken um, if you watched her what's for dinner this past week I think both of the dishes she made so I wanted to try both of them because they look pretty easy and like one pan kind of thing and I'm into one pans kind of thing but I am getting ready to look at a little bit of TikTok and then Pinterest and for some dinner ideas for next week um, and I'll continue this tomorrow she's got um, occupational therapy tomorrow early in the morning we need to be like sleeping right now but we're not I finished seven eight eight orders I actually more than that because my husband took a few of them this morning because I got them done this morning so I just packaged them up and he took them so I probably made about 10 today I think which is pretty good because I'm trying to get caught up and that way I can have time to play with my new milk when it comes in but anyway I'll continue this tomorrow bye guys have you have you tried that is that does that taste pretty good <laughs> Oh, try, okay. No, I'm just going to stick with the regular then. All right. And uh, let me get one strawberry frosted sprinkle. Coffee roll. And one coffee roll. All right. That's all. Thank you. Birdie. 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 Uh-oh. Birdie. Birdie. How was your appointment? Birdie. We left occupational therapy. She did good. They want us to work on some sensory issue stuff, like um, importance of sensory play. Um, dry foods, wet foods, colored rice. Uh, marbles, buttons, feathers, pom poms, cotton wool, cotton wool, cotton wool, beads, duplo, sand, water, shaving, foam, mud. It says compost. 
What is compost? Like pig scrap. <laughs> pig scraps. <laughs> they want her to go dig out in their compost pile of all the rotten foods. Mm -hmm. I don't maybe know. just maybe just like mulch or whatever. Oh, I don't know. Or and leaves. Then it says. Oh, then it says sensory. You know, seasonal sensory bin. Fir cones, pumpkins, leaves, acorns. Summer is shells, water, sand, seaweed, pebbles. Winter, homemade snow. Homemade snow made. One cup of baking soda. Add shaving foam, tinsel, Christmas ball balls, candy canes, craft snowflakes, spring, grass flower, dried, fresh, Easter eggs and bunnies. Sounds like a mess. Fresh or dried Easter eggs or bunny? <laughs> what? <sighs> Who writes this stuff? Yeah. And then sensory bins. And then sensory play at home. Arts and crafts, Play Doh, fabric box, material box, sensory floor, sensory treasure. Bath time bubbles. Oh, we don't do bubbles anymore. She hadn't had bubbles in. What kind of bubbles? Bath time bubbles. There's a there's a bottle of it under the. I don't know, but she hasn't had a bubble bath. Well, yeah, because she so had the UTI, but it yeah. was before that we cut them out. I got a stiff neck. Hello. So, it's like about 2.56. I made seven hair spikes in bows and sprayed them with the stiff and quick. So that way they can be drying. Um, I have to make like traditional tutus. Let me just show you guys this real quick. Um, like with regular tutu. So these are the cardboards that um, when you get tool sometimes depending on where you get it um, sometimes it comes on these so I use these and I cut them for different lengths there we go I was like why is that so this is my 18 month my 2t 3t 4t and 5t so um, I cut them at different lengths and I don't remember what they are. I'd have to measure them to tell you what they are. But this is the measurements I have always used for all these hundreds of years I've been making them. No, I think it's what, 14, 14 years I've been making tutu. So um, I probably used these measurements probably at least 13 of those 14 years. But anyway, I, and I just, I posted something yesterday, which I thought was kind of interesting because I see a lot of people and, um, I got a lot of comments about, you know, people, I wish I could just get one sale a day or, you know, I don't even get one sale a day. Um, I understand. I've been doing this a long time. So I've been on Etsy since 2009. Um, and I had my first sale September 26, 2009, mm -hmm. and then the next sale did not come in until March. I think it was March 4th, maybe? I don't know. It was something. March 5th. But so I went from September 26th until March without a sale. So, and then after that, I think the next sale came in like May. So we take a sleep. <laughs> She's tired. She wants to take a nap. You want to take a sleep? Okay, go get in the bed and I'll be right there, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, So, from m March, I didn't get another sale until May. And then it went from May. I had some in May, June, and July, and August, and September. And I had a total of 14 sales in my first year. From September to September, um, I had 14 sales. So, believe me, I understand. Um... I, you know, I've been there. I, I, you know, I think the reason I get sales, like, because, you know, right now is because 
my shop's been open since 2009. So that's a long time of having a shop actively open and constantly selling. So I think that, you know, boosts you up in your algorithm. At least I'd hope it would. I'm not sure, but um, so that's probably why I continue to get sales. I know it's hard. I also advertise, and I'm not going to tell you guys how much I advertise, but I advertise a lot um, daily. So just to give you a ballpark figure, it said that last month I spent $300 and something on advertising, and I made 900 off those advertising sales. So, I mean, I spent 300 to make 900 so... Um, what else was I going to say? Anyway, so I posted a post on my Facebook yesterday and it was just explaining, you know, that, you know, don't give up, keep going because, you know, I've been there. I was there. I know where you're at. I've been there. And for the, you know, I don't, I don't think that, I guess I'm, I don't look at it like, oh my gosh, my shop is so successful and great. I don't, I don't think of it that way. I just think of, I'm working a job because I have to make money to feed my family. You know what I mean? It's just, it's more, it's work. It's more, I don't know. It's, it's, it's my job. It's what I do. And I do love my job. I do love what I do, but I, you know, like anyone who gets sick of their job, you know, there's times where I'm like, Oh my gosh, I don't want to work on that order. Like right now I got to make all these tutus, but journey wants to take sleep. So because, oh, my phone light is on. Because we did get up early last last night. Because <laughs> we did get up early this morning for her occupational therapy. We got up about 7. Um, we're not used to getting up about 7. I usually get up about 9. So we got up a couple hours earlier than normal. Um, because I do tend to stay up late. Now, I won't say we get up at 9 every day. You know, some days we get up at 8, and some days we get up at 9. And, you know, occasionally if we do sleep in, we might sleep until 10, but it's not not a lot of times. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to, she wants to take a sleep. It's 3. I don't think I will be able to sleep just because I'm not tired but if I know if I lay down with her I might get tired but she needs a nap she since we have gotten home has been um journey's like comfort thing is just to rub on my skin and so she's come up to me multiple times as I was making those bow spikes and stuff and she was just like <laughs> trying to climb up in my lap tell me to hold her so um uh -uh. I'm going to go lay and snuggle with her for a little bit. And if I do, I want to be up at least by 4. If I do end up taking a nap, that is, I want to be up by 4. So I am going to set an alarm just in, just in case. Um, and to start on some of these orders, I'm going to embroider and make these tutus. Because these tutus aren't that hard, you know. You know, I'm just tying it on. And then at 5... I'm going to go upstairs and start dinner. We're going to have, my husband's not working late today, so I can cook dinner. And we're going to have um, hamburgers on the grill, a pasta salad, like one of those side pasta. Journey loves them. Suddenly salad, maybe it's called. Um, the one with bacon and ranch. And you mix it with mayonnaise. She, that's her favorite. So I know she'll eat that. So I always like, when I plan a meal, if I know there's something that they won't eat I'll try to include something that they will eat so I know at least they're eating so I'm going to do that and then we we always have chips and dip when we have hamburgers so we'll have that and chips and dip and then for dessert I think I'm going to make a blackberry cobbler I'm going to try to make it similar to the peach cobbler just to see um, I don't know if you have a different if you use a different recipe for doing different, I would think it would be kind of the same thing because you're doing the same stuff, you're just using a different fruit. So I'm going to try it that way because that peach cobbler I made was so good. So good. But, um, yeah, uh, and it was so easy. Super easy. So I'm just going to um, 
do the same. I'll put the butter in, I'll put the batter in, and I will put some sugar in my blackberries and do that, warm them up, and then add it and then bake it and see how it turns out. I know you can make uh, like a blackberry cobbler doing the same method and putting it inside of a crock pot and letting it just cook all day. And so, but I'm going to do mine in the oven. So we'll have that for dessert. And yeah. Yeah. Let me go lay down with this baby. Well, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. It is 5.37, you guys. Ah! We actually, I got up a little bit ago, probably, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I cleaned the grill, so that's what I was doing. I just came down to get the camera, but um, I'm going to start Journey's Pasta, and then I'm going to start the Blackberry um, stuff. Hamburgers don't take that long on the grill, so... I already put my flour and sugar in there. Where? This pretty flour? Me? It's one teaspoon, right? Or is it one tablespoon? Where? In here. Yeah, look up, Mimi. Oh, I hope it's one teaspoon. Now it makes me think it's one tablespoon. Oh, it's my volcano on here. Oh, yeah? My volcano, mother. Which makes volcano? So I was supposed to add a tablespoon, so I did that. I got my Mom. butter. Mom. Yes. I know you want to make a volcano, but I can't help you right now. I'm in the middle of cooking. Maybe Sissy can help you with a volcano.
Hi guys, dinner was amazing. Those fried pickles was the bomb diggity. I think um I think what makes them so good is the homemade ranch. So I want them again. I will definitely make them again. Um, I mean the the panko stuff that I used wasn't bad. And I think mixing the panko stuff with, because at the end I just mixed the panko stuff with the flour. And I just dipped my squash. I made squash too because we have an abundance of squash. Papa's got a lot of squash. Um, remember that big bag he gave us, and now he gave us more on top of that. So, and some tomatoes and a few peppers. So anyway, it's a mess, like a, a huge, 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 huge mess. Like, yeah. So when I work, like, because I'm just trying to, there's a sticker on this journey 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 on the on my sewing machine um when i work oh it, it had the plastic still on it the little protectant anyway good thing right oh that sticker might be stuck there but um so when i work i'm more focused on getting the job done so like if I use fabric and then I just kind of throw things here and there and there. So it's, you know, I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, my floor is for the most part clean as in vacuum cleaned, but it's still got a lot of like, I mean, just randomness, like wipes on my floor because Journey needed a wipe and so she brought them to me tape which I was almost out and had to order more and do you know how hard it is to find because I use this duck easy start packing tape um I used to buy it at Walmart and it was around ten dollars and then it went up from there and then I started ordering it off from Amazon and for a four pack it was about ten dollars or so maybe a little more 10.97 maybe well now it's been out of stock forever and I can't find it so then I found this which was I don't remember how much it was 
but it comes with maybe six rolls and then you got this so one came like this and then there was five more rolls in addition to this one so six um, and this is called quiet tape bomb pack so I mean the main thing I'm looking for is for it you know to be quiet you know I don't like that tape that goes and for um, it to be easily cut you know that's why I like the easy start because you know you lose it yeah anyway talk about tape later uh, the blackberry cobbler that I made yes yes it was bomb everything was delicious even my hamburger and um, normally I don't make hamburgers that way I don't buy pre pattied burger from the store and um, if I do buy pre patty burger I usually add my seasonings like you know add some stuff to it and then re patty it out well this time I didn't this time I was just in a hurry and I just put salt and pepper on them and threw them on the grill they were really good coincidence or have I been doing it wrong or am I just used to tasting the way it tastes the other way that this way it was just like mm, this is different new and I don't know anyway girls had their bath um, after they got out of the pool they ended up eating and so we ate dinner and then after dinner um, because they were still soaking wet they just they both got in the bathtub with their swimming suits on and took a bath together with swimming suits on because when I got Journey out, she was still in her swimming suit, so I had to take it off her and then dry her off. But here comes my old man. Hey, old man. Hey. I think she's me. Well, you're the only old man I see. Anyway, I need to work on these tutus and start embroidering. How many is there? Whoa! I see one right there, right in front of the chicken coop. Oh, another one. Sissy caught one. Okay, put them in your jar. You let it go. More? Oh, there's some over there. Oh, there's some over there. He's mad. Jessica in there? Oh, he's crouched down. They probably like Jessica better than Squirt. Back this way. Yeah. Oh, there's one right here. Right in front of my face. It was right in front of my face. He just flew right. There's the sunset, guys. Journey's out here collecting fireflies. She's obsessed with the flies, of course, bugs. But isn't that so pretty? So pretty. 